Hey, what's up guys? And today we're unboxing the DJI mic. I've wanted this mic for so long now and it is such an amazing mic. There was the Anchor Work 450s, I think, which are about £80 cheaper and they are probably just as good, but I'm a little bit of a DJI snob and I just really wanted the DJI mic. So what I love about the DJI mic is that obviously it comes with two actual microphones and it also comes with one receiver as well. So if you do have two interviews set up, you can obviously mic the two people up together and it all comes in one amazing charging case. So all you have to do is charge it once in the case and then the case actually charges the mics and also the transmitter for you. So you should be, I think DJI are saying you get about eight hours of battery life per mic, but if you use the charging case to charge them back up, you do actually get 15 hours of battery life, which is amazing. And I think that's more than anyone will actually need for one day. So we've got some cables here and that'll actually come out straight away. If we actually open these up first, let's see what's inside. So straight away, you get the little carry pouch with you. So if you want to carry around all of the, I think the mic wind muffles and also the battery case as well, you can actually put it into this little bag here to travel with you at all times, which is nice. And inside this bag, you've got some obviously just general like uh, paperwork you've got an aux cable and then you've actually got the actual muffles as well like if for your wind socket so when it is windy outside you just clip these onto the mic and obviously it will try and reduce as much wind as it can and here is the actual charging uh, wire as well to actually charge the case up so you get fully powered battery by USB-C. So this is a cool little bag to actually come with if you do want to bring everything with you because obviously if you do just have the mic case itself you can't bring around these and if you don't want to like ruin them or anything then it's probably best if you do carry this case around so only time will tell if i do actually bring this case now let's get on to the actual main part of this old system and that is straight away the dgi mic case itself it's got a little bit of a weight to it to be fair but i actually think i kind of like that so let's actually get this nicely unboxed I'll tell you what, DJI uh, really remind me of Apple. There's just so much so premium about their unboxing and or just about their products in general. I know they are priced quite expensive, but I do think they're worth it overall. The ecosystem and just everything from the unboxing is just so good with DJI. They really are like Apple. So here it is. Here's the DJI mic charging case. And as you can see, there is the actual little charging cable to charge this whole thing up. So you don't have to do anything apart from plug it into this back. Oh, and there it is, straight away instantly pairs up shows you the different battery life on each transmitter and i'm pretty sure as soon as you take it out of the actual case itself it does automatically connect to the camera as you can see you've got four little lights on the front showing you how much charge the actual battery has or the battery case i should say and at the minute this has three charges of battery and both of the actual transmitters are on 15 hours of battery life and the middle one is just over half as well it doesn't say but it's still got really good battery life so for the rest of the video now i'm going to actually use one of these mics to actually talk with so let's actually get one out and what i'll actually do i will to make things easier i will actually record straight from the mic because if you don't know i know there is a transmitter in here as well you can actually just press one button on the side of the dji mic and it'll actually start recording internally and then what you can do you can actually use a usb c cable to plug into the laptop and you can actually get that recording from that so it's not only good if you want to go really minimalist and you don't want to put the transmitter on the actual camera to record the audio directly straight into the camera it's also good for obviously like a backup as well so if in case there is a problem with the signal to the transmitter and the receiver and it doesn't actually pick up the audio if you're actually recording through the actual internals of the actual receiver itself it will actually start recording like a backup for you as well so you do have some ease of mind and i'm pretty sure this has has some decent internal storage as well so removing it straight away as you can see it stops flashing this mic here is still flashing but this one is instantly paired and that's why it's showing green I love the design of this mic, I've got to admit, like I said, I'm a DJI snob, but look how nice this is. It's really small, it's really compact, it looks nice, it feels nice, and overall this mic just looks absolutely amazing. Another great thing what I love about this mic is actually the two different ways you can like clip this on. So you've got a normal back clip here to like clip it onto some clothes, but you've also got a magnet as well. So as you can see, if I actually get this magnet and put it underneath my jumper, it should just automatically 
magnetized to my jumper. And as you can see now, I actually have the microphone on my chest. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna record the from the internal microphone straight off of this and then sync it up in post. I'm actually gonna test it between my shotgun mic at the minute, which is the video mic go, the road video mic go, I should say. So one button and it should start recording. And here we go, as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see from that, but it has turned red. So this is now the audio from the DJI mic directly. What do you think of the actual sound itself? Do you think it sounds good? And now this is the Rode Video Mic Go as well. Obviously it's not as good a shotgun mic. This is about 50 pounds I think, and this is obviously much more expensive, but this is so much more versatile as well. Obviously now if I do turn around here to actually pick up this mic and actually talk about it more, it's gonna sound a lot better than the Rode Video Mic Go. Because I'm obviously directing my face and my voice towards the wall instead of directly at the camera. So this is where this DJI mic come straight into it. I've not messed around with any of the settings as you've seen, I've just put it straight on, started recording instantly, and let's actually see how this sounds. So while we're at it, we may as well get the receiver out. So this is what the receiver looks like straight away. And what's great about the actual, sorry, the transmitter, is that this is fully touchscreen. So I'm pretty sure now if I click this arrow English, I can set the date, which is the 26th of the 4th, uh, 2023 no it's not it's the 25th today and all you do is like a little swipe motion click next and here you go it starts connecting and i think this is the audio straight from the transmitter so as you can see because it is connected obviously it's not recording into anything but you can actually see your level so if you actually put this on luckily about this uh, actual transmitter you can either face it uh, towards the back of the camera so if you're actually handling the camera from behind you can see all of the levels from the DJI mic but if you're also vlogging as well you can actually turn it around and face you so I can actually see this screen and actually see my levels to see if it's over peaking or not and now I think if you just scroll down you can go from mono receiver gain the volume the transmitter settings and then the settings as well and then if you scroll up the other way, you've got at the minute, it's showing me here the TX1, which is what I've got right now and I'm recording myself on. It says it's currently recording and now I've actually just turned it off as well. So you can completely control the actual receiver if it's recording or not through the actual transmitter as well. So if I click on this, as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see, but it has turned red. So now I'm now talking again through the DJI mic. So that's really helpful. You can actually turn on and off the recording, the internal recording this is, from the actual DJI mic using the actual transmitter itself. So that's a really nice touch. If you click on this, this mutes it. So at the minute, if I'm not talking right now through the DJI mic, that's because I've muted it as well. I've now unmuted it so you can actually tell if I'm actually talking now as well. It does actually make a little bit of a noise when you press that mute button and then off. this is actually 15 hours and you can actually format this actual transmitter. So this is actually how much it's got. It's got 15 hours of actual audio recording, I think this means, or that's battery life. If we actually go down, swipe down again and go on settings, you can change the brightness, you can link a device, you can do the language, date, time, factory reset, everything like this and then if we go around transmitter settings you've got low cut transmitter gain vibration notification and then also your led brightness you've got the volume as well receiver gain as well from the gain from the receiver and then this is where you can change it from mono uh, i think this is mono safety so this actually records a safety channel i think i think it does two channels so there's a quite a loud one and then a low one as well in case any sudden really loud uh, noises happen i've got a safety channel to actually use that's actually not peaked over a certain amount of decibels and then you've also got stereo as well go back to mono this is where you can change the left or right but obviously i've got the left one in the case still and then as far as i know that is basically the actual, like all of the menus in the actual transmitter. You've got an output and then you've also got a headphone jack as well. So you can actually monitor the audio like with headphones to actually hear how it sounds. On this side, you've got the on off button for the receiver. And then this is actually, you've got a USB-C as well to either charge it, I think. And then this back here, this is how you actually mount it onto your cameras. So if I actually grab this first one, and as you can see now, this is the perfect, I think cold or hot shoe, I keep getting them mixed up to actually lock straight onto your camera's hot or cold shoe. 
and that's how you can actually connect it to the camera. However, what's a really cool thing about the DJI mic as well is that it actually comes with a USB-C port as well to slide straight underneath the transmitter to plug into either your phone or your GoPro or action camera. And you've also got a lightning port as well to plug into your iPhone. And now it instantly starts connecting to your phone. So when you actually do start recording a video, for example, you are now actually using the DJI mic to record your audio. And then even with any of the actual adapters attached to the actual uh, transmitter, all you have to do is literally you can put it back in and it stays there, links, and there you go, it's instantly starting to charge again. If we get the other one out, that automatically links as well. And this is why I love the DJI mic so much because it's so easy, so user-friendly, and it's just so convenient. I can just bring this around wherever with me now. If I just bring this in my bag, in my back pocket maybe, it's so small, and I can just have quality audio all the time. As long as I bring these as well, if I actually am out in the wind, I've got quality audio all the time. And as long as I've got my phone or an action camera or my camera with me, I can just plug it straight into my phone and I got crystal clear audio with the actual iPhone itself. And then to actually connect one of these wind protectors, you literally just put it on to the actual where the mic is and then you twist and that stays on to the actual mic itself. So overall so far, first impressions, I'm so happy with the DJI mic. I think it's so sleek, so user friendly, so easy to use. I literally just pulled it straight out of the box and I started recording instantly. That's how good it is. Only time will tell how good the audio actually is. And I'm really looking forward to actually going around and testing this out a lot more and just start overall using it a lot of places and a lot, a lot of times just in general. Even like I said, when I don't have my camera with me, but on my phone, if I wanna make a quick video, like a YouTube short or something, or just anything, I've got crystal clear audio with me all the time if I actually just bring this around with me. I will actually do a full review on this in the future, so if you wanna go watch that, make sure you do hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that video. And I also just will do like a tips and tricks video on the DJI mic when I actually do start to use it a little bit more and get a little bit more used to it. But overall, I'm just so happy I can just like chill back here and just talk normally with my actual, uh, mic just here picking me up instead of having my old USB mic which suddenly just stopped working now which was really annoying this is actually one of the reasons why I picked this DJI mic up very earlier than I actually was plan going to plan on to and the same for the shotgun mic because I have been co constantly switching between my shotgun mic and if I want to just chill back here or if I actually want to turn around and grab something from here to show you guys my audio is still perfect and I, it doesn't cut out and it doesn't go any quieter. So again, if you did enjoy this video, why not hit that subscribe button? I'm so close to 1,000 subscribers now. I actually just cannot wait to get there. So if you can hit that subscribe button, it'll be much, much appreciated. And if you did enjoy this video, you might like this video right here where I actually talk about some hidden features on the DJI Mini 2 that you might not know of. So if you are interested in that video, why not watch this video next?